Hey guys, today I'll be doing a review of the Land Yacht Switchblade 36. Um, this board is a great board. Um, I would recommend this to anybody just because it's so good. I love it and you would probably love it as well. Okay, let's we'll start with the specs. Uh, it is 36 inches long, obviously, uh, 9.5 inches wide at the widest point, and wheelbase of 27 inches. We'll go to my setup now. I'm currently running Bear 852s with standard bushings, so I'm Abex 7 bearings and Volt Fiber Flex. Uh, we'll go to the graphic. Graphic's pretty sick, it's got like a Japanese temple. Um, it's got a skull down here, must be like an octopus in that because it's tentacles like destroying the temple. And then it's got land yachts down here with their symbol. Um, yeah, we'll go to the concave. Concave's pretty good, um, yeah. Uh, it's pretty durable, I have banged it into some gutters a few times but it's only scratched the nose. Um, and that's pretty much it. It hasn't like cracked the the middle of the here. Um and yeah, I would recommend this board to anyone. It's a sensational board. Um it's pretty good. Like uh I've ridden a Comet Grease Hammer and a Landios Time Machine. Uh I would recommend a Grease Hammer over this, but I would definitely recommend a this over the time machine, it's just that much like much better. Um, so oh yeah, I've currently got it top mount. I prefer top mount just that little bit more because it gives more give and stability to the board. Um, yeah, I've this is my first board. I've ridden my f friend's boards and. They're pretty good, but I like this board, and so, yeah. Thanks, guys.